All right, so finally done cleaning up the parts that I'm gonna be painting. Uh, some of the parts on this kit, I have to tape them on a surface like this to paint them because you know I can't use the alligator clips on them there's just no handles on the thing here for me to work on let me zoom in a little bit there yeah there's no way so I'm just gonna use the tape right here um, I don't know if I brought this up before but this is also that the time where while I'm painting I'm also crossing my fingers hoping that it's gonna freaking work the paint scheme I mean you know um, but so far so you know so far it's working out pretty good it, it's it doesn't look that bad yet maybe it will eventually but hopefully it doesn't um, but yeah that's that's where I'm at right now uh this uh this part of the kit also has a lot of i don't know how many times i'm gonna say parts so this section that i'm working on of the kit is uh has a lot of parts on them so hopefully the paint scheme that i chose and the uh, paint placement that i pick works out to my favor um, of course, I'm also gonna try to make them more uniform Meaning the paint placement For the kit like I'm gonna give you guys some uh, good example on them. See this red part right here on this Already painted kit the already painted part of the build uh, you see you only see the red parts right there on the back and on the like you know I'm trying to make it as uniform as I can so that's the goal so if I ever do add the metallic red metal bloody red on this kit it will almost always be on the back you might see traces on of them in the front but yeah, I'm gonna try to keep it you know more uniform as is the way it is right now so i don't know if that makes any sense to you guys but i don't know i'm not a very articulate guy to begin with anyway so well pardon me <laughs> that's it for now i'm just gonna finish up clipping all these parts of the kit and uh i'll get to painted them and then just wish me luck hopefully this works out you know, all right. <sighs> all right, so just back to painting. I'm just doing a, bo a voiceover while I paint because I have to wear a mask, of course. Stay safe when you're painting, and that's wearing an, uh, uh, one of those kind of not an N95 mask, but an actual gas mask or something. You know, I'm just saying, but uh, yeah, so. What goes through my mind while I'm painting? Majority of the time, I always uh, just pray to the Gunpla gods that this paint scheme works, or at least the paint the the paint placement that I chose works for me or something. But you know, sometimes it just doesn't, and I have to redo my paint. Like painting all together for me is like the best part of building. Uh, I'm not a big fan of sanding and taking out nub marks and uh, all kinds of other stuff. My favorite part about this whole hobby, at least for me, is putting the uh, kit together for the first time and uh, painting. Those are my two favorite things to do about this whole gunpla journey, at least, you know, for me. You know, some people like masking, some people like scribing the most. Not me, I just like to paint. If I had to choose uh, one thing that I could do for, for this hobby is, um, you know, just give me your kits and I'll paint it myself with whatever color scheme I want. You know, that's, that's just me, all right? So, yeah. I just wanted to rant a little bit 
Um, I'm gonna be putting this kit together soon here after it dries up and then hopefully, fingers crossed, it looks okay when I put them all together. All right, so see ya. All right, so finally done painting. I hope this looks good when I put them together. I have no doubts that it's, that it's not gonna look good. You know, I just have that kind of confidence. <laughs> Crossing my fingers. But um, I just wanna point this out. I've never really used copper that much as a main color, but the more I use them, the more I wanna use it as a main color. I mean, look at this. It looks so good. That's, you know, that's just me. This is crazy. So maybe if I build another five star story kit, I'm just gonna use the copper as the main color next time, you know? Uh, but it looks so good. And this is gonna be hidden, unfortunately. Um, so I'm gonna be putting this together really quick. Uh, and like I said, I hope it looks good. So my trusty Bob's glue is ready for me to use and uh, you know even though this one has pegs and holes on them they usually don't stay on together they usually just say we lied to you we don't stay on together like like look it's not I'm not even putting any kind I'm not even trying to pull this thing out look it's just coming out easily that's why I said you need glue for the skit um so oh crap hopefully i don't chip any of the uh, paints away there but so as usual you just gotta use glue a little bit here so that it stays on there when you put them together boom boom you know what i noticed is i use boom boom a lot i don't know why it's just, it's just my thing. It's just my thing. Uh, I hope I don't um, spread the glue all over the place here as I'm putting this thing together and stuff. Does it go this way? Yep, it does. There you go. Usually I would eliminate the, the uh, seam lines right here, but since this part of the kit's gonna be hidden anyways, I just... I just said F it, you know? I don't really need to. That's just one more step that I have to do when it's pointless. So, you know, the more the more time you uh, spend building kits and painting them, the more you're gonna find yourself taking shortcuts, like me. I'm just saying, you know? Cause it's not gonna show up anyway, so why, why take the seam lines out? It, does, it just doesn't make sense at all. Um, this part might show up here that's why i painted them but only like the bottom part but who really looks at this thing scratch anyways you know it doesn't make sense of course i'm gonna have to use glue because look it doesn't even hold still together right there so get my trusty old bob's glue um someone had told me about this kit of um I know, like, for those of you that don't know this, this is my first ever five star story kits. And uh, actually, first ever um, kits where I have to use glue <laughs> to build it. I'm normally used to just snapping and building kits because all I have experience when it comes to model kits are uh, bandai kits bandai gunpla kits or whatever and uh this was definitely a huge surprise for me when i first tried to build this kit um one of my co-workers are into warhammer or uh those minis and stuff and uh, he was telling me that you have to use glue to build those kits and to me that's just crazy <laughs> why even do it you know <laughs> so yeah this is very foreign to me and i'm just going along 
as I build this at the moment, you know, it's just crazy that kits like this is this is that to me it's just crazy that this is actually how you build the old kits back then and even now still you have to freaking glue it that's to me that's insane maybe i've just been spoiled by gunpla that's all it is to it you know just been very spoiled and uh and i really appreciate what what Bandai has been doing with their kits ever since I started working on this kit but yeah so I noticed I didn't have I didn't glue this one is because you know it, it there's a you it it has some kind of resistance so I'm just gonna leave it alone and I'm not even gonna use I'm I'm not even gonna use the um, glue at all this one I might have to glue yep yeah, I have to glue this one but you know like i said i mean i'm actually starting to like building this kit right now so i'm probably this probably won't be the uh, last time i build a five star story kit i'm gonna build i actually have two more one 144 scale uh five star story kits in my backlog so i'm gonna be working on those after not not immediately after this build but like in the near future you know just to uh change just to change it up a little bit when i'm building from uh from the gunpla stuff is this how you put it on together i don't even know i think it is uh yeah it is Thank God nobody's gonna see this part of the kit. There you go, now it's glued in in there. Hopefully it stays on. <laughs> but so far, that's what it looks like. Oh, let's see here. And hopefully that doesn't come off. But, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like after I put them all together and then I'm gonna put it on with this part right here oh <laughs> and I hope it looks good you know all right all right so fun let me center this finally done not that bad so far I like the uh, I like how this turned out I mean you know it's kind of dirty <laughs> I'm not the best painter of all time yet Maybe eventually in the future I will be, but you know, it, this turned out pretty good. Um, I haven't put the highlights or the, the little parts right over here, but I'll eventually, I'll eventually put that on. Um, uh, but overall, I'm really happy by the final result. I don't think I'm gonna be, you know what, I'll be honest with you, I was planning on masking with this kit but uh, i don't think i'm gonna because i'm already liking how it looks like so far look at that i mean look at that i mean you know I'm, maybe i'm just a sucker for gold or something i don't know but yeah i like i really like how this is shaping up to be and i hope i make the right decisions uh, the you know the whole step of the way to finishing this kit but the bottom half of the torso is done now i'm just gonna be doing the limbs and stuff um quick just a quick um analysis with this kit overall it's still very loose look it shakes <laughs> the uh poly caps that comes with this is not very good so this is definitely gonna stay static and i i'm not even gonna pose this thing at all besides standing you know but yeah i am really liking this so far and uh, i hope i make like i said the right decisions on the color scheme or the color placement every time i paint this kit so all right so part three is done eventually it's, it's looking like i'm gonna be doing about three or four more videos for this kit 
you know, just going through the uh, steps for each part of the kit, you know. But hopefully you guys are enjoying this series for those very few of you that do keep track of me. I hope I'm not disappointing. I hope you're also, you guys are also learning something out of this. I am not an expert when it comes to model kit building, but you know, uh, uh, this, I'm just showing you guys the journey that somebody that's a complete noob like me would go through and stuff. You know, that's that's the uh, always my goal for this channel. And it's up to the uh, people if they like what they see or not. Or maybe they might imitate my um, meteoric rise to becoming a, a, a model kit painting expert or something which I will never be by the way there's always gonna be somebody better than you that's just how the world works I know what I'm saying but yeah this is it right there so I'll be right back maybe in a week or two I'll upload another video and uh, hopefully I'm gonna be working on the uh, arms or the legs by then so subscribe if you like everybody stay safe and uh, thank you for watching be right back to finish this off, peace.